Should I get my bulletproof vest on? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just do a follow-up. There's a lot of things I could ask, but I'll do a follow-up on the bus bench. Um, number one, you actually took $4,000 between the bus bench owner and his wife and his relatives, etc. But you also uh, had a, an illegal contribution from it, because if you have a, a uh, contract that goes over a month without being paid, it becomes an illegal contribution. You've allowed this company to front you the money for the bus okay. benches not being paid the for many is, months. The, question, the is, question is, why are you doing this illegal activity? Okay. I like that question. Because, Paul, when you raised that a few nights ago, I went back and looked at your waterboard. And two years ago, you still have $4,000 in accrued expense to political scientists. But you actually then paid 4000 out of this campaign. And we'll, we'll talk about that offline. I, no, I, let me, I, oh, sure, well, let him finish, let him finish. So, as you know, and when I spoke to David Z and he called, called me about this, I said, look at any other candidate, mayor, anybody that ran, we all have accrued expenses. Tell me if I'm wrong. We have nine months to raise money after a primary. We have 90 days to collect the rest of the matching funds. Is that correct? This is, this is wrong, actually. Which part is wrong, Paul? You. What I did was legal because the rules are different in the city of Los Angeles. In the city of Los Angeles, over a month, the crude expenses becomes a contribution. And not only do you have this, but four years ago, this same company had an accrued expense of $30,000, which you closed your account without ever being paid. That is a highly, highly, highly illegal contribution. Okay, Paul, if it's so illegal, why did the Ethics Commission in 2005, I was the one candidate in the city's history, that spent more than hundred thousand dollars raised and got a clear bill of health. So if you're I, not it's a, astonishing. I would actually like to get an answer from them. Well, <laughs> the point is, they went so once. They go after tinny tack violations, and when you have the most serious violation, in my view, in the history of the ethics commission, they didn't even catch it. Paul, at the end of the day, we have to file on May second. Yet, for all you know, that's already been paid. And you don't know. And your campaign manager jumped on Thursday on me only because the ethics web page was down. As you know, their server's down most often. And you made a false claim that I had not paid any of it, when in fact I paid $68,000 of an $80,000 bill. So we're talking about the bus benches. Oh, the, bus benches the bus benches are paid. And you will see it on the next statement, Paul. You're Wait for over a month, which is highly illegal. Paul, that is not the rule, okay? If that was the rule, the city okay. Was okay, I think the issue is joined. Okay, uh, with this, uh, let me have uh, Matt start asking some of our questioners to come up front. Okay, so we, we do have a series of, uh, of questions, and, and some of you folks um, chose not to put your names on it, which is fine, and I'm going to go ahead and save those till the end. Um, and when I do call your name, if you can just come stand right behind Jules. Jules, yeah, Jules. You have to stand up. The question the people that are he is standing up. Sorry. Okay, where Jules where Jules is sitting, you that's where you're going to be sitting. So George uh, uh Winter, uh Wayne, uh Bernice DeLong. And if you don't want to come up and ask a question, that's fine. I'll put it toward the end and I'll just ask a question. Uh and then Harry Harry uh, Gittleson, Carol Fentner, Beverly Gard, Don Andre and David Renkow. Yeah. George, okay. Oh, I'm glad you get to the question. Hold, 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 hold on for a second. You gotta speak up and you gotta, there's your question, George. I will, can you hear me? I'm listening to both of you fellows picking on each other. How much money you're getting from but nothing, neither one of you said of one word of how we're gonna reduce the deficit that the city has. And my question to you is, what is your plan to reduce the deficit? How about taking the automobiles away from the city council and all of the employees of the city, when most of the people here go to work, they use their own car, and the city is paying, paying gas for these things, and also the amount of money and trips that the people Okay, George, George, don't give the answers. Let them ask the question. Okay. Paul, Paul goes first this time. Okay. Paul? Well, first, I think we should do some of the 
symbolic type of things that you've talked about. And I've talked about, among other things throughout this campaign, the fact that the council and top managers in this tight budget era should at least take a 10% cut. I mean, that's a, a tiny amount of money that'll be saved, but I think it's, it's an important amount of symbolism. Um, I intend to drive my own car. I don't think city council members need cars. I think they have a, a lot of uh, fluff in their own personal budgets that they should be cutting uh, for that purpose. Now, we don't have enough time to answer the rest of the question, which is how would you, how would you save uh, um, the, the bigger things? And if we have a chance to return to that, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Okay, David? Well, let me tell you actually and answer your question how you cut it. There's two ways. You can either have attrition, layoffs, and then you can do a hybrid of early retirement. I'm asking each and every one of you, regardless of what you do on May 19th. George, George. How do you cut the waste? George. Absolutely agree with you. More check. Yeah, yeah. More check. There's a tremendous amount of waste in the city. I don't know if anybody saw NBC News yesterday where they reveal that the DWP is part of their contract with the employees. Get three meals with three executive chefs, excuse me, a dollar twenty-five. Now all of us do not get that type of benefit. DWP do, does. So here's what we're gonna do, George. I'm not gonna take the card. I make that promise to you. In addition, I'm gonna cut the fleet down to one or two, down from fifteen. It will save a lot of money, but if that's not where we end it, that's where we start. And we gotta go through all the departments and thank save you no money. Okay, thank you. The, the next question actually, I'm gonna follow up. It's it's uh, uh it's, it's somebody that asked, asked it, David had asked it, uh, and, and they said if elected to city council, what kind uh what kind of city car would you drive? And I think you both a uh, answered that. But then, but you followed up with that, it says, what kind of car do you drive now? I have a Cherokee. Oh, I have a Chevy Malibu. Okay. The next question is, uh, are you up next, Bernice? My wife has one. Is there, okay, no, no, you guys, if you want to if you want to know what David, David, come on up. David. No shouting out for the audience. If you folks want to ask a question, please fill out a form and we'll be happy to answer it for you. Okay, the next question is from Wayne. Wayne's not up here, so he'll go to the bottom. 